Okay, so the third thing you can see from here is theta is cos inverse a vector dot b vector upon a into b. This is cos inverse you get from here a vector dot b vector is equal to a b cos theta. So cos theta is a vector dot b vector upon a b and theta is cos inverse of a vector dot b vector upon a b. This is a very important relation because if you know the vectors you can calculate the dot product and you also know the magnitude and hence you know the angle between the vectors which will be very much required. We'll, we'll solve problems based on this in a while but moving on to the fourth observation a vector dot b vector the maximum value of this is a into b that happens when theta is equal to zero when the vectors are parallel their dot product is maximum we're going to study another kind of product called a vector product this is scalar product we're going to study another kind of multiplication which will be vector product and that will be zero when the vectors are parallel so you have to keep a watch here that the vector in this case of scalar product or dot product the product is maximum when the vectors are parallel similarly it will be minimum when 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 tell me when when first of all what will be the minimum value minimum value would be zero isn't it now it won't be zero it will be minus a into b as you must have figured and that would happen when theta is equal to 180 degree or pi radians and the dot product will be zero when theta is equal to 90 degree this you must have uh, understood okay a vector dot a vector what would this be just as a vector dot b vector a vector dot a vector will be a into b into cos theta theta will be the angle between a vector and a vector it's the same vector if this is a vector this is a vector i mean they are parallel vectors same in magnitude same in direction so the angle between them is zero so a vector dot a vector would be a into a into cos zero which is one so this is simply a square this is very important because if you uh, extend this idea to i cap dot i cap because we resolve the vectors into in the form of something i cap plus something j cap plus something k cap it will be important there to see that i cap dot i cap is equal to 1 because the magnitude of i cap is 1 and the angle between two vectors in the same direction is 1 so i cap dot i cap is 1 similarly j cap dot j cap will be 1 and j cap dot k, uh, k cap dot k cap will also be equal to 1 now i cap dot j cap what will this be i cap dot j cap if you see them if you do the dot product 1 into 1 into cos theta theta is the angle between i cap and j cap which is here 90 degree cos 90 is 0 so i cap dot j cap will be equal to 0 similarly j cap dot k cap will be equal to 0 k cap dot i cap will be equal to 0 i cap dot k cap will be equal to 0 when you take any two similar this similar unit vector and do the dot product you'll have the dot product as 0 because the angle between those two vectors would be 90 degree okay now based upon this fifth point we can see i'm just rubbing first three points because of shortage of space see uh, generally we write vectors in this form suppose there's a simple vector a vector ax i cap plus a y j cap plus 
AZ K cap. And there's another vector B vector BX I cap plus BY J cap plus BZ K cap. Now, if you want to do the dot product of A and B, let's do it. A vector dot B vector. A vector is AX I cap plus AY J cap plus AZ K cap dot. B vector is BX I cap plus BY J cap plus BZ K cap. Now let's do the dot product. Now based upon point number two, the associative property we know that A vector dot B vector plus C vector is same as A vector dot B vector plus A vector dot B uh, C vector. Now you can break the multiplication and do the dot product one by one, term by term. You don't have to do the for the whole of the bracket at once. So here what you would you can do is you can start with AX I cap and do the dot product term by term for the second bracket. And you can do the uh, dot product AX dot AX I cap dot BX I cap. Now the AX I cap into BX I cap would be AX into BX into cos theta, theta, theta being the angle between AX I cap and BX I cap. Now in this case, both are in the same direction, both are in the positive X axis direction. So their dot in their dot product AX I cap dot BX I cap will be simply AX into BX cos theta will be one cos zero is one. Okay, so the first term is AX into BX. Now you go on to do the dot product with the second term, AX I cap dot BX J cap. Now I cap and J cap, the angle between these two vectors is 90 degree, dot product will be zero. Same for the AX I cap and BZ K cap, that again will be zero. If you go with AY J cap, with I cap and K cap, it will be zero. With J cap, it will be AY into BY. Similarly for Z, it would be AZ into BZ. This is how you will do the dot product of vectors given in Cartesian form like this. Okay, easy. Okay, so let's see a simple easy problem just to get handy with this. Suppose you have a vector 2i cap plus 3j cap plus 4k cap and you have another vector let's see minus 2 i cap plus 4 j cap minus k cap and you have to do a dot product of these two vectors so doing dot product is sim simple do it term by term first term with this first term you'll get minus 4 isn't it and then because uh, 2 i cap the magnitude is 2 and here the magnitude is minus 2. So it's 2 into minus 2 cos theta and theta is here 0 because they are both in i cap direction. So that is 1. It is minus 4. I hope no confusion. Simple. Similarly for the second term and for the rest, other two multiplication other two dot product will be 0 for 2 i cap. For 3 j cap plus 12 and for 4 you have minus 4. So the answer is 4. It's a number, there's no direction, it's a dot product, scalar product. So the dot product of these two vectors is 4. Okay, that's how you do the dot product. Okay then, uh, that, that's the theory for a scalar product or dot product. Uh, now let's try a hands on certain problems.